Hi, I'm Josh Oliver from Zenata Consulting. In today's video, I'm gonna go over subforms and their use in Zoho Creator. By the end of this video, you should have everything you need to know to get started with using subforms inside of your Zoho Creator projects. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this video useful. Enjoy. So there are three different ways you can relate child records with a given parent record inside of Zoho Creator. One, you can use a standard lookup field, which would create a related list on the parent record. And I explained that in last week's video. So if you haven't already watched that one, please check that one out before continuing. The second way to do it is to use a standard subform, and I'll go through that today. And then there's another way to do this, which is using combining both the standard subform and a lookup field, and we'd use a bidirectional relationship to make those connect to each other. And I'm gonna go over that in next week's video. Uh, so stay tuned, and I'm hoping that all this information will help you understand subforms, related lists, and lookup fields for your Zoho Creator projects. So there's a few uh, pros and cons to using just a standard subform. Uh, one, it's easy to create. Uh, for the pros, it's easy to create. Uh, you can easily edit multiple rows at a time. And last, you can view and edit rows while you're editing the parent record. Uh, that's something, those three things you can't really do on a standard lookup field with a related list. So with a subform, like I said, you, it's just a, a subform on this parent record. So you can add and edit rows while editing the parent record. Now, some cons would be on a standard subform, there isn't the ability to create a child record outside of this edit view. You have to create the row while you're editing the parent task. In next week's video, I'll show you a way to get around that using bidirectional relationships. So stay tuned for that, and that's kind of the best of both worlds. Another con would be on a standard subform, running workflow rules are also limited to certain triggers. And the only trigger you can uh, run a workflow role on with the subform is called on add of a row. And that's on the parent record. So you're triggering a workflow on the parent record on add of a row. So I'll, I'll show you what that looks like as well in today's call. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you how to create the standard subform and how we can add records and then also edit the subform. First, you wanna start inside of your creator app. In this case, we're using a sample task management app. And last week I showed how to add a lookup field to a record. And this week I'm just gonna show you on, let's say we didn't wanna add tasks as a separate module and we just wanted tasks to live on the account as a subform. I'm gonna open up the editor and let's just get right on into it. So we're gonna go into the account page, or the parent record in this case, and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom here. It's under advanced fields, and we can add a subform. You have a few different options when you're adding a standard subform. You can choose a blank form, which means you can add fields ad hoc, or you can pull from an existing form that you have. So if I've created a blank form or a blank subform, I can add fields in here the same way I would be able to add a field to the parent. And so let's say I just wanted to build out the task management here. So I could pull in a drop down. I could put in a, let's call this status, put in a single line field for the subject and so on. I could do a multi-line for the notes. So let's call this subject and then notes. And then our, our subform is tasks. Now notice like whenever I'm building this out, this these records just live within this account record. So when you're pulling reports, it's all related to the account. We can't actually pull a specific report on this module because it, it's not a module, it's just a subform. Reporting is limited with subforms is another con. We can get around this. So this is what a standard blank subform would look like. We can take this the next step if we wanted to pull it from an existing form. And what that looks like, 
if I pull in a subform and then I choose from our tasks, now you can see I can't edit any of the fields in here because it's actually pulling from the tasks form, which means if I want to edit anything on this subform, I need to go into that task form to make any edits. Let me show you what that looks like now. So now if I'm looking at this account, I can simply just add rows in here. And so we have, I can put an account, subjects, notes, st status, and, and so on. And so that's, that's quite literally just a subform. So I, I'm just adding rows in here. One nice thing is I can add and edit multiple rows while just looking at the parent record. Something you can't really get whenever you're dealing with individual child records at a time. Now that we have this, I can, I can click save. Let's go ahead and save this. So our account name is, you know, let's go into our other account that we already have. So this is the account. Notice this account field also exists on the task and I have to populate that again. We can trigger workflow rules to run to pre-populate certain fields if needed. Uh, so that is one option, but it has to be done through a workflow rule. And then subject line, I'm going to put in a subject, test, task, and then notes, status, in progress, and give it a due date. Now, in this case, this is actually creating a separate record, and that record would live in the task report. Um, so whenever I save this, you'll see another task get created here in progress. And this I can run reports on, but the downside to this, whenever I view this subform as a related list, I go to detail view, and then I can go to here. We already have the open tasks as it l is listed with the lookup field. I'm actually going to delete that because that was what we did in the last video. In this video, what we did is we put it as a relationship from this form. So last week we did a relationship to this form. Now we're doing from this form and this is a subform. When I add a block here and go in, we can see all those tasks are visible in this detail view, but I don't get the little plus button here. I can't actually add a record to this related list uh, using the little plus button that I showed in the last example. And just to show you again, if I add this as a related block instead, we have this little plus here, and in this case, I'm actually seeing all of the records that were linked to this account. But again, only one row appears in here, so this, these other tasks don't actually get displayed in the subform. And that's because they weren't created in the subform, they were created outside in this standard tasks module. So the only records that show up in the subform are the ones that are created through that subform. And that's with the standard subform. Again, in next week's video, I'm gonna show you how we can actually get around that by using a bi-directional relationship. So stay tuned for that. And that's, again, like the best of both worlds. But really, the only reason why you would ever wanna use a subform is to view and edit multiple records on a given parent record. Otherwise, I would always just default to using the standard child and parent relationship through a lookup field. If you wanted to run a workflow rule, I mentioned this earlier, there is a way to do it. And if you go into workflow rules and we create one, it has to be done on the parent record. Let's say it's on create or edit and then addition or deletion of a row. We can also do it on field input. And then if you chose a field that was in the subform, you can trigger workflow rules on that as well. Uh, but we can't really do anything on the submit of a row. We'd have to do it on submit of the parent record and then run it on for each of those rows, for example. Now, it really depends on what type of workflow you're running, if this is actually a limitation or not. There's always a way around it, so just know that, but it is a limitation. So that is standard work subforms in Zoho Creator. And stay tuned for next week's call and I will show you how we can relate standard subforms with modules so that any given task, if I create a task here separately, that it will also show up in that subform. Because again, let me show you, whenever I create a test task 
five, and I say that this is open, if I'm creating this outside of that subform, it's not gonna show in here. Only this records created within the subform will show within this record. All right, so now I hope you know a little bit more about subforms and Zoho Creator. If you find this video useful, please like and subscribe below. That really helps our channel. And if you have any questions, please put those in the comments and I'll be sure to respond. I hope you have a good rest of your day and take care. I'll see you next time.